bad days a pair of blur. No stick of stones, I'm trying to have you moving with my words. See, it's crazy cause I'm working, but it don't feel that hard. We enjoying every second on the way to being stars. Yes, sir. Take a look at the stars, you can reach if you want to. Don't be afraid to change cause the people don't want to. I had to show y'all the finishing touches. That's to eat. What to eat? What to eat? What to eat? What to eat? I ate some of it. It's really good. This part today is so good. Excuse me. So I'll do a McBang and It was cute earlier. Or was it yesterday? Yeah, earlier. That good Tampica orange. No, Tampica. Um, mango. My hair is doing what it wanna, what it wanna, how it wanna. Okay. There you go. This is crazy. I should have sat at the table, but the only reason why I'm not sitting at the table, I'm not really that comfortable. I took my medicine though. So I can get comfy. Squeeze that lemon on there. My sister was in San Antonio. Yes, I did my own 
I'm watching um uh, hold on. Lisa's life. Yeah, Lisa's life. I like her. Just subscribe to her. See? She's doing a a hair mask and chit chat on her live. So yeah, I'm just going to eat this, my mukbang. So it's some spinach. Mm. Yeah. Just try it. Just to try it. Um, it will not disappoint you. The thing is, the blackening sauce. I mean, I created a little bit more than what it should it is just because of the seasonings that I did use but the, I feel like the Creole seasoning has most of the seasonings for the uh, blackening seasoning so this time the only thing I did different was oh my god why these um what is this <laughs> Why does spinach taste so buttery? Like, it just melts in your mouth. Mm, 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 mm. Garlic, are you the reason for it? It can't just be me. I use the three lady brand that's nice. This is good. Man. Yeah. See, next, I'm going to make some. <laughs> Speaking of Jasmine, today's her birthday. Happy birthday, baby. Mom, love you. But look at how. Oh, I can make chicken piccata, the one from the Mimi's Cafe restaurant. I can make, I can make that. And tastes just like them. And how that even That's became is crazy because it's like it's basically a chicken lemon caper sauce over it. Kind of some of them sometimes people make it like a, a, a like a gravy, like but it's like it's you know what I'm saying, a little sauce that goes with the chicken. Yeah? And um, so that came to play. I was like, it was Mother's Day, and um, we I for some reason like I mean the whole family went to Mimi's, the whole family, and I'm like, Grandma, I can't find nothing to eat. I don't know what I want to eat. I don't see nothing. So then she goes, Why don't you look on the signature? The list that they have for Mother's Day. I didn't look at that. So I looked at it and I was like, ooh, okay, well, I'll try the, you know, the chicken piccata. I tried, that was the only thing I was able to eat. Look, Arab auto smells and everything. Like, I swear I was about to throw up. My grandparents knew I was pregnant then. I didn't even know I was pregnant. And they just kept looking at me and going like this, like, they were like, what is wrong with them? And I told her, she was like, yeah, I knew that Mother's Day when you was talking about all them smells and then you wanted only that. And I was like, what? And was like, yeah, and you ate the whole entire thing. It, they give you a lot. I mean, they give you a whole plate full. I mean, it's... But, yeah. <laughs> Who has some crazy cravings as being pregnant? Now, mine was... 
It wasn't crazy. It was just crazy that it was every day. Okay, like my first daughter, I had, I was, I was craving them, but the Cheesecake Factory, like every day. I swear to God, her dad had to go every single day and get me some damn Cheesecake Factory. Every, can you imagine every single day? The whole pregnancy. You know, my daughter, just made the one that's living. RIP to my daughter, Laurel Neve. She's the one that passed. That's the one I was talking about with the, um, with the, um, cheese, Cheesecake Factory. Now my daughter that's living, Jasmine, her birthday's today. She, I was when I was pregnant with her, red lobster. Every single day. Every day. Almost breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Man, and we living in the east. The east. <laughs> oh, on the first one, I had two. I had two miscarriages as well so before I had my daughter Jasmine um so the first it was crazy I liked it um the Doritos the regular Dorito chips with avocado so I would cut the avocado up with um salt and pepper and then I'll put on the Dorito chip I remember one time it was like three in the morning or something and I was just up and I was hungry and somehow the whole house got woke up. I was living with my um my daughter's family, my in laws and I really wanted it but I was you know, I was just shy and stuff and then she was like, Here, let's make this and we was trying to make all these different things and I was like I was about to throw up, I remember, and then so she went and got some, um, oh no, that, so they went and got some, um, Taco Bell, and I didn't want it, and, but I didn't throw up, see, I never throw up when I'm pregnant, her dad always throws up, so he threw up that night, and I was like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, because, you know, he threw up, so it was kind of like my body hit like whatever, and so then, um, she was like, man, let me just go get these, the avocado and the chips. She really left and got me them avocado and the chips, man. And then she got a whole bunch. I was like, you didn't have to do that. I just wanted a friend tonight. She's like, no, girl, no, no, you, here, here. Ooh. Oh, and when the vague, I had to sneak these, um, I made my own donuts. You know how you get the, um, the cheap, um, you know, the biscuits, the little cheap ones, the little small ones that look like nothing, them ones. I mean, they, 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 uh, Philadelphia, the dope boy or whatever, but, um, so yeah, if you take that. What's up? <laughs> I'm doing my YouTube right now. That's why I just cooked the dinner. See that? Now I'm just eating it. So, yeah, man, I was sitting there like, I was cooking that up. So you take it and then you put, you fry it. And then when you take it out, you put cinnamon and sugar. Man, that shit was, ooh. And then if my baby daddy was all like, hey, that's enough. You know what I'm saying? So look, I swear to God, I'll wait till he, because he goes to his brother in the other apartment. I will wait until he left, like, lock the door. Look, I already had it all set up. I had it, like, the, the um oil over here, the pot under here, the cinnamon and sugar, like this little container. So, man, I'll be hard to be present, man. As soon as he like that, don't look. I'm turning the, the, the stove on, and I'm cooking it. 
Man, one time this fool came back a little bit early than he was supposed to and caught me. Look, I had the donuts sitting on the side of the couch. <laughs> Nigga, I'm serious. Look, I had the donuts sitting on the side of the couch eating my meal that I had because I had cooked lunch. So he came, he came home for lunch. Man, I thought he was going to leave. But he already brought his brother, Dre. I was like, dang, man, they about to be here for a minute. And I thought the smell of the food would take away the smell of, you know, the donuts. And oh, the hell it didn't, man. He like, did you cook some donuts? I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what I mean? Doing this, eating this stuff. Man. Dre must have was like, I don't know if they knew <laughs> or what the hell. He goes outside to the um, patio and comes in and was like, oh, can I get a donut? I was like, now you got to have known that this is a side plate all the way over here on the side of Jane couch. Why you like, I was, I was hella man. I mean, I, I ate them. Well, he gave me like three. Cause you know, I had some, the plate was like right full. Man, I remember, man, them donuts. Let me tell you. So yeah, those are my cravings. And now, it's crazy. People be like, what you want to eat, baby? Ask my daughter what she want to eat. And I'll be like, she be like, I'll be hearing. She be talking about some lobster and crab. They be like, girl. <laughs> I think that's because all that dang red lobster look, look at every day. Red Lobster, the whole pregnancy. Oh, baby. And then I cook lobster and crab and steaks and stuff like that. Like the restaurant do. Because I'm like, I'm going to make it right so I don't waste food. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather not waste the food. So I'm going to cook it right. And how I got my daughter to eat a lot of stuff, I cook it the same way. I'm going to have her taste it. Or we give her baby food. Um, her doctor was telling me, her doctor was telling me, um, why don't you give her fresh fruits and vegetables so that she'll be adaptive to it when she gets older. It wouldn't be like this big transition, you know? from baby food taste vegetables than regular food. That's why kids don't really eat certain ones because of that baby food. And they're not eating baby food for the rest of their lives. So it's like, what is this? And so, yeah. I did that. I must say, she eats every single vegetable except for the carrots cooked carrots i'm working on that people been trying to tell me cook it like um like yams how they put the butter and no, no 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 yeah butter and brown sugar you know but i'm like yeah that's easy that's taking the easy way i like she likes normal taste like the regular tasting like you don't even gotta put salt and pepper that that's how good, that's how much she likes her fruits and vegetables, like plain, like the regular taste of it. And that's what I wanted. That was my goal as, you know, a mother or whatever. Um, so that's why I'm like, oh, I got, I want to cook it a different way to where she still likes them carrots, you know what I'm saying? Without doing that. You know what I mean? Like, he, you know, heaven forbid that she had those, you know, health reasons. But what if she had those health issues and she won't hurt some carrots? You know what I'm saying? And what? She she's just not gonna eat carrots for the rest of her life because the only way she can eat it is the brown sugar you know what i'm saying little stuff like that and when if she need you know carrots with your eyes you know what i'm saying so like that's just me though know, i look at i look more ahead than like right now type stuff like the food that's long term so i'm gonna have her eat that and then plus 
Man, this food is so good. It don't make no sense. Down to the last bite, dude. <laughs> Ooh. Look, when you season it well and like the um the mustard and the barbecue sauce. See I skipped some. I was supposed to put the the uh what is it? The lemon the lemon um Whatever the freaking rhyme of the freaking women. I was supposed to put that, but anyways, it doesn't matter, it's alright. But the mustard and the barbecue sauce, oh my god, why does that, like, you taste the sweet and just, but it's enough, it's not too sweet, like sugar. This right here, go. Everybody keep telling me I should like serve this in a restaurant or that I should sell this and make some money from it. It's the sauce. They like the sauce too. And to be honest, it ain't even that much money. Cause like, you seen both of those, those um, the the uh fish, right? Man, it was long as my arm, yo. Like, so it was like two of them came to like twenty eight. We don't even gotta get that much, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, then you getting your cream, you getting your seasons for the the season, your cream, you know what I'm saying? I say a vegetable, that's me. Excuse me. I think any grains goes with it. Them spinach, let me tell you, get that spinach. Oh my gosh. Put that butter in it, that um garlic, and just let it cook. Leave it alone. Don't even mess with it. Let it do what it gotta do. Man, butter. It tastes like butter. Like the consistency, the, the it tastes like butter. Especially if you let it cook, cook, cook. Don't cook it out, cook it good. Now this right here, it's that sauce. And it got the lemon in it, it got the butter, it got the flavor from the salmon. And salmon is good for you. And let's see. Cause you got the mustard and the barbecue sauce, so they ain't even too much salt. Like for real. Like I didn't even. Now that I think about it, I didn't even put any salt. Did I? Yeah, I did. But see, that's what I'm saying. Cause that butter and lemon, like your herbs and stuff. I cook for the herbs. I love herbs. That when I found out about herbs make up a lot of the flavoring instead of the salt look get you some herbs look they tell you that on the cooking channel invest in you some herbs taste you some herbs man it's worth it it's worth it and i say the fresh herbs because it tastes it, it tastes totally different guaranteed maybe you can get that salmon and Fresh food, we ain't nothing like some uh, fresh seafood. It's even good with some shrimp. You know what? Next time I'm gonna try it with some shrimp. I'm gonna, um, maybe I should do a pasta. Do the pasta and put the seasoning, I mean, the, the sauce. Use the sauce for it. <laughs> Cook and use the shrimp. 
because oh my gosh, it's good with every I say every vegetable. There's something about it. La, 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 la. Now I gotta go blow in the air, air. Alright, so I might put this in my YouTube. I'm thinking about it. Just to just go ahead and be the, you know, part two or something, like the most boring part. I mean, it is. Yeah, I'll do two separate videos. I'll do two separate videos. Hey, look. Look, y'all. Look, look. Come here. Let me show y'all. Look. <laughs> oh, look. Look at the joke. Oh, my God. Look at this. Got my mouth watering. <clears throat> Let me show you this again, yo. Yo, yo. Look, look. Look. Oh. Everybody gonna get you some. Or, or I'll make it for you. Bum, bum, diggity. Where are my parents? No, it's fine. We're at my mama's house. <laughs> She's gone. No, she went to go. Um, she had a comedy club. They had a comedy club when I stayed home and did. I stayed home and did some work. Did some work, you know what I'm saying? So, now, gotta go blow in the air, you know? It's good for you to blow in the air. You know, just go outside and just, you know, just, just blow in the air. <laughs> I'm slow. No, I'm true. Ah, just being silly, all oh. Hey, I should've did pigtails. I had two braids yesterday. It was really cute. I did two French braids. I ain't even take no damn pictures either. Maybe somebody else got some pictures. All right. This hair. My hair is super duper long. Super duper thick. Long hair, don't care. So this was us and sickle cell. Oh, matter of fact, let me do my shout outs. I said I was gonna do that. Said I was gonna do that. Let me do it. I got a couple. I got a couple. Get the name out. Shout out to. Hold on. Well, shout out to um, Jack in the Box. I gave y'all a shout out. And shout out to um, Lyft. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to DoorDash. Y'all should. They, 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 took, they, take care, they took care of me really good. So, shout out to them. They wanted a shout out. And I came through and I delivered for that. I'm looking for my specific shout out. Mm. 
Okay. All right, now this a long time ago. Now just don't don't judge, okay? Cuz I was going I was like I said, if you're going to watch my channel, you're going to understand why. So, yeah, like I said I was getting off that medicine. So, you know, when you're getting off the medication, you know, the, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, um, I mean, y'all can look it up if y'all want to. It's called fet, fentanyl, F E T F E N T Y N fentanyl. Wait, F E T Y N. A Y. Hold on, wait. Let me spell it out. Let's see. No, it is fit. Okay, so it's F E N T A N Y. Yeah, I'm gonna just go like this. There. So just in case y'all want to look it up or whatever. So yeah, I was getting off that, you know, the withdrawals or whatever, yada, 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 yada. But now, you know, I'm just getting a little better. So whoever wrote this, here, I'll do it the other way. Okay. Look, they said I deserve a shout out. <laughs> now, hopefully that's your number. Now, I just did this shout out. I'm about to upload it. Now, hopefully it's your number still. See, I was like, because I saved it. And I was like, dang, man, I didn't even. Hopefully the number is the same. Mm -hmm. It's because it's been a few months. All right. I want to show, I'll show y'all this picture real quick. Just why I felt the need that I just must follow through with what I say. You know what I'm saying? You got to follow through with your word. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. Your word is all you got. So you gotta follow through with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting, because it was charging, so I'm letting my. It's charging. It's charging. Okay, Let's see. Let's see if the food. Okay, let's see. I tried to do it like this. Okay, hold on. There it is. Oh, there's the video. Okay. Okay, so here it is, y'all. This with um, Jack in the Box. Do they show love or do they show love? Do you see all that syrup? For some reason, look, I was on one. Don't judge. It is what it is. <laughs> Yo, this like, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, 
Yeah, that is 12. My bad, my bad. Don't judge. So, I would, I, I needed 10, you know what I'm saying? So, as you can see, there's 12. Look at the butter. You see the, you see the silverware. You see this. You see, do you see the whole complete meal? And then they would, came with the but, dude. Do you see this? Now the thing about this, see, I use this on this. This, these are the potatoes. They are so bomb. These are the mini, mini tacos. Now, here's my video. That was it. But see, they did this like for a few months. <laughs> a few months, you feel me? So I appreciate it. Especially the um, the DoorDash drivers, because you know, they're the ones that went in and got the stuff and, you know, harassed them for it and went to they even went to they even told me they went to other jack in the boxes just to make sure they did that you know what i'm saying they did that for me i appreciate that i really do i appreciate it because it was good okay i need to eat that so those are my shout outs shout out shout out oh there it is shout out to the niggas um so um I'm going to try to make sure I put sickle cell videos in there. It's not that I'm staying away from it. It's just I seen a lot of them and I was they were boring. I'm sorry. I guess that's just me. And I'm not saying that I'm not boring, but to sit there and talk about sickle cell all day. It's only so much you could talk about when it comes to what it, I don't I don't really know. But to me, you can only talk about so much that you're gonna sit up there and you're gonna end up repeating yourself based off what it what it comes down to. I mean the the pain's different. It feels that way all the time that the pain's different. But now um, when you're repeating what you're saying over and over about it, it's kind of like no I'm talking mess I talk a lot of mess I'm sorry I talk shit I talk a lot of shit but that, that's my family my family they talk a lot of shit too so alright love y'all peace out bye